welcome everyone to my another udemy course cascading style set in 2021 so in this lecture we will be learning about css it's a uh, beginner concepts and we just move on to learn and understand uh, advanced concepts in css cascading style styles which includes grid box uh, tables, uh, border, padding. We will be learning about all the coding part. So all you need is uh, Visual Studio Code install. So as you know, everyone uh, might be familiar with HTML, Hypertext Markup Language, which is also which is usually used for web development, basically for designing a web page. So with that. To make your website or web page even more stylish, attractive, we use CSS. So in this lecture, we will detailly learn about CSS and its various components and so on. At the end of this like at the end of this section, you will also be understanding all the concepts and you will be having a, a very clear uh, mindset to implement all the CSS in your coding part also. So stay tuned. See you in next lecture. Thank you. So as I said, CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. And in 2021, you will not be only learning the very basic thing because 98% of people are very very good at the basics. Everyone know the basics and you should not be one among them so in 20 for 2021 you should have a knowledge of advanced concepts so let us see one by one so first the driving problem behind css so that includes what font type and size does h1 tag okay generate so this is basically a h1 tag okay like i have given a, a heading of introduction and some default from the browser like html tells what the browser how in early html it overrides the default with attributes like i say for a table tag i will have two attributes like border and the border color of the particular table so the table have two attributes one is border second is border color so what does this border holds it holds a value of two okay that means the border should be having two and what color i want to set for the border it can be a red it can be a blue okay but now my favorite i want to set the border color to be black so i have used black and these style sheets were added to the address this specific the style to use rather than browser default not how to code styling on every element so from this you have to understand i need not style each and every element that is each and every tag i use okay for example i have used h1 heading tag i don't want to use heading uh, styles for all the heading tags a particular say for example a particular file holds h1 tag up to h6 that is the maximum heading it could a web page can have is up to h6 I hope you know that so i don't want to style each and every heading tag or each and every element i don't want to style table i don't want to style a, a paragraph tag it's up to you to style or not so we don't need to code styling for every element on every element that is our choice basically so what is the key concept like separate style from the content so i hope you know the css files are saved as with the extension dot css and where will you save that you will be saving it in a separate file and you out you have to import it in your project how will you include it in your project is just uh, giving a using a tag called link Okay, you can use a link tag and you are going to uh, give the name, okay, what uh, CSS name 
it has to be referring to so in the link tag i can refer the name as the style sheet dot css for example so what i have given here the content what to display in is in html files and the the uh, the styles which i am applying to uh, those elements in html files for formatting the information how to display it is a separate style sheet that is i have saved the file with dot css file use an element attribute name class to link it for example for a span tag i will use a class attribute and i will say i will name a class name okay i will use a class attribute and give it a name so define style information once used in many places consider can you make all the text in the app slightly bigger or purple is our new company color okay so this is how you have to include the css file save the css file with the dot and css extension and then use it in our html file as you know html file holds only the content to be displayed and css file holds the styles to be applied to that html file so html uh, sorry css contain one or more css rules so what are the rules for css so what are the rules for css that includes a selector a property and some value so say for example for a body tag okay i have used in html for that body tag i am going to uh, apply some styles in css so how will i use that so first i want to name the which for which tag in html file i am going to apply the style so for body tag i am going to apply so i am going to name it body so let me open my pen okay okay for body tag i am going to show i am going to open and close curly braces inside this i want to apply what are the things i want to give styles for the particular tag here body tag so for the body tag i want to give a color background color okay background color and a font family i can also specify the font family which is that which are to be applied and i can also give margin to it okay so every time when you have a body tag okay definitely you will have a body tag in your html file so you can use these four common attributes like uh, font family color background color and margin okay these are the declaration blocks okay we call these as uh, declaration blocks so in font family i i don't want to specify one particular name i can name it two i can even name three i can even up to four but it will be applied basically with the thing you have you have uh, placed in your html file so here like i have given for example i have given a uh, arial tahoma sans serif times new roman anything okay whatever style whatever font family you want to apply to your html tag that particular for body tag you can set it over here okay set the value over here and the color it can be black it can be red it can be blue whatever and the background color here i have given white because it can be a contrasting between black and white so i have given background as white and uh, color of the body to be black and i have given the margin to be 8 pixels okay px means it's pixels okay uh, it is the representation of your screen right each and every pixels contributes to your entire screen so i have given the margin okay alignment to be 8 pixels okay let me move on to the next slide. here is a table okay for your understanding i have given in the slide um so here i'm going to have a tag name okay so h1 is going to be a tag since i had a body tag in the previous slide here i'm going to use h1 tag so what are the things i want to apply to the h1 tag i can apply color to it okay so uh, say for example the h1 tag holds the information like the introduction so that the introduction should be uh, that the text should be in color red i can also give you a font family like times new roman 
it will apply it to that particular h1 so here i have given today specials so if i'm going to give color to be red this will be applied red here i have uh, not given the output okay this is not the output so please don't uh, confuse yourself okay here uh, simply i have used uh, green color for the text okay if you are going to run it in visual studio code definitely it is going to print it in red color okay you are just going to output uh, result shows here in red color okay if you give red here it will also display this today's special will be applied in red if it is going to be given green then it will be green yes so uh, this is uh, for tag name what if suppose i am going to use a class attribute i hope you have used a class attributes in your html file okay say for example in h1 tag itself okay or in a div tag or in any other tag you are going to use a class attribute you are going to have a class attribute like named large so for that particular class attribute i can also specify i can also apply some styles to it so for that i am going to use a font size that is the attribute and i am going to give it a 16 point so the font size will be 16 okay so the paragraph class okay paragraph tag only holds the class attribute large okay so for that class particular class attribute how i should go okay how, what is the syntax dot i have to place a dot before the class attribute name so dot large open close inside open and close curly braces i have to specify the style like i have given font size to be 16 and what if i'm going to use a tag and a class like sorry like i can use p dot class uh, sorry a p dot the class name that is large so p dot large inside i can give anything okay i can give the uh, style applied okay so automatically it will be applied if i'm going to have a element id element id will be represented with hashtag symbol and class names class attributes are uh, denoted with dot symbol so i hope you know that okay if you have learned html you might have no definitely uh, learned that so for class element id i have used uh, hashtag so p20 okay p20 is nothing but the id name so hashtag p20 inside that i can apply the uh, style i want like i'm going to give the font weight to be bold or i can give font weight to be italics so it's up to you for deciding these styles what are these css pseudo selectors so how however okay if i'm going to have um hands link symbol okay i'll be having a hand link symbol no uh, the mouse cursor changes to hand link symbol so that we will say it as hover okay so whenever uh, it goes through over link we say it is a hover so apply rule when mouse is over an element okay example tool tip so you will use p colon hover comma a colon hover this a is nothing but anchor tag and p is nothing but paragraph tag that means inside paragraph tag if i'm going to bring the mouse pointer uh, inside the paragraph tag then it's that uh, action to be changed okay however and in anchor tag uh, you will be having a you will be having a link okay so if i move towards uh, the link okay link will be un underlined right okay if i when i move my cursor when i bring my cursor towards this link it has to change it to tooltip okay and i'm going to apply some style over it okay what is the style i'm going to set the background color to be yellow so when i bring the mouse cursor to that point okay either it's a paragraph or an anchor tag that should the background color must change to yellow that's it and similarly here i have given anchor colon link comma anchor colon visited okay if it is visited i am going to say the set the color green okay it's just as a link then i am going to say it as blue okay so whenever when you if you have a click the uh, link okay that means that url that particular link has been visited so i want to change that color to be green okay if it is not visited i am going to say it to be blue so in the next lecture we will be learning about the properties of css stay tuned welcome back guys so as i said 
here I am going to discuss about the CSS properties. So what are the properties of CSS? So it controls many style properties of an element like coloring, size, okay, uh, position, visibility and many more. So if I am going to have a paragraph tag in the HTML file, so I am going to uh, apply style to it. So p colon within uh, open and close curly braces, I am going to use text de decoration. Okay, so there is a specific uh, C, uh, style you can apply for your text decoration that is line through. Okay, uh, you can also use some animation also to it. Okay, try uh, to uh, use this in your Visual Studio Code and try to execute the output. Okay, you can see the paragraph tag in HTML, whatever the content you are given there, the decoration of the text will be this particular line through. So some color properties and background color properties we will discuss. So you can set any color, it's your wish. So which must ultimately turn into red, green and blue intensities between 0 and 255. So there are some intensities you, which you can specify for a particular color. So there are predefined names like red, blue, green, white, etc. So if I'm going, it will be represented as a 8-bit hexadecimal numbers for green, green, sorry, red, green and blue like hashtag FF000, okay, 0. So that means these three together, okay, FF00, sorry, FF0 together red and the 00 to be green and this 0 to be blue, okay. So this is the uh, arrangement for it. For 0 to 255 de uh, decimal intensities like RGB, red, green, blue, we say it like 255, 255, comma 0. Okay. And we can use the percentage also for that. Like percentage intensities for RGB of 80%, 80%, comma separated value. Okay. 80, comma 80, comma 100 percentage. Okay. That will represent uh, some purple. Okay. Uh, I think this is a light purple. Okay. Or a violet. Okay. And here example I given h1 colon color colon red semicolon and what is the box model? So the CSS box model is the very basic thing one has to understand with. So this is just a simple uh, you no know, like a window. Okay, this is something like a box. Okay, where we can have an element in our center. Okay, element is aligned in the center and we can uh, use padding okay we can set the height and width for that uh, particular box and uh, padding is nothing but over the element okay the space over the element is padding and you can set border over uh, over this padding okay okay you can set uh, some border size also for that and the last layer okay last box will be the uh, will be the specially declared for the margin okay so the here i have given a synapses like thing total element width equal to width plus left padding right padding okay and what is the left border here okay this is the left border plus right border left margin plus right margin so this will be the total element width so this is how you calculate the total element width and uh, one thing you have to note is margin and padding. Okay, this margin and padding are transparent. Okay. So now we will discuss the distance units. So for absolute values, we have like two pixels. Okay, if I use px, that means pixels. Mm, everyone knows millimeters. Okay, two centimeter means cm means centimeters and in inches. Pt means printer point. Uh, three po uh, point equal to one by seven two inches. And for relative terms, okay, this is for these are the absolute uh, terms or absolute values. And for relative terms, we use 2 em, that means 2 times the element's current font size. 2 rem means 3 times the root element's current font size. So these are the simple uh, like uh, verbologies you have to understand, okay, for specifying the uh, style sheet uh, distance units. And what are the size properties? Like we have element pad margin border okay padding okay like we have the four directions for padding right top right bottom and left okay so we have uh, the attribute name to be padding iphone top okay it should be separated by iphone padding top padding right padding bottom padding left like that similarly we have for margin also 
okay for margin how will you say for margin you say margin top margin right margin bottom margin left okay and for border you can set the color for it okay border bottom color border bottom style border bottom width and for similarly for the left border you can apply some color to it for left border you can apply some style okay separate style and for left border you can set some width okay for right border color style with like that you can use these many things for a particular thing alone okay so and similarly you will have with the night specify for the element defaults so here i have given an example okay for paragraph time i have used the border and five pixels solid red okay so solid red is the color okay and uh, what should be the size of that border that should be five pixels okay this is nothing but the size i am specifying okay now position property okay so there is another property for positions like you can say set the position as static relative fixed or absolute okay when i say when i set the position to be static what does it means it is a default position okay in documentation flow okay that is the default position okay it will be as such okay default values of the position will be static and when i say it as a relative i can uh, relate uh, the position related to default position via the top right bottom and left properties i can say it as relative what is fixed position that is the position to a fixed location on the screen with the direction properties like that includes top right bottom and left what are the position absolute okay i can set the position related to ancestor absolute elements okay so if i give the position to be fixed position of 0 comma 0 that means it is for top left corner okay and some more common properties for background image okay that sets image for the elements background and if i use background repeat that means that should background image be displayed in a repeating pattern okay or versus one once only for that i will be using this okay so there are many properties that for font font family font size font weight font style font information for text text align vertical align okay for alignment itself you have like center left and right for cursor you can set the cursor when over an element okay using help so these are the properties so we will see in next class so in this section we will be learning about the hexadecimal colors okay so as i said hexadecimal is a six digit um, representation of a color so the first two digits are okay rr okay red value and the next two are the green and green value gg and the last uh, last are the blue value okay bb so as i said in the previous uh, section so this is the hexa code uh, representation for the particular color we use so this is for black okay uh, red and this is for some green okay i'm not i, I can't write a full word so let me write it in a one word okay one letter and uh, this is blue okay this is yellow this is also a light blue okay aqua okay this color is uh, particularly called as aqua so for css you you don't want to particularly learn about all these colors but you must also understand the, there are so many variations in colors so that uh, i can apply it so that my website looks attractive so for that you obviously have to learn these things and this is a pink color and this is a, a gray and the last one is okay white so if i want to use short x codes i can use it like this okay hashtag triple zero like this i can use it for these things also okay and as i said the value i can specify like rgb of zero zero okay that's the ta tablet column for this you can refer this and similarly i'm going to give a 256 uh, running color palette okay so this is the palette okay you don't want to memorize this just 
look at this take a reference and you can apply it in your uh, style sheet okay and so for background image position okay how can you set that you can set it by uh, say for as for example for table tag i want to style it so background image i'm going to specify a url for it okay i don't know if it's clear to you okay i'm going to specify a url for you okay background image and for the position 100 pixels i'm going to give so this is how i can set the position for that image okay i can say like 100 position and 200 also that means this table has background image position 100 pixels away from the left and 200 pixels away from the top okay and uh, i have some uh, fonts okay like font family font style font variant okay fonts family you know uh, like times new roman arial or something like that font style is nothing but bold italic oblique okay that you it comes under falls under font style what is font variant that is nothing but the property used to create a small caps effect okay that is we use font variant property font weight is nothing but used to decrease or in, sorry increase or decrease a how bold or light a font appears font size increase or decrease the size of the font font property is used as a shorthand to specify a number of other font properties also so like i can say style equal to font family colon georgia okay garaman sheriff i can use like this and that particular thing will be can be applied also so if i use style equal to font style colon italic okay this particular paragraph will be shown in italic okay and here i have given small caps see all these small caps are like this represented okay font weight i can give as 900 means it will display like this okay that this is the weight for that particular thing okay like here i have given three things like for this to be applied for um, font size of 20 pixel and here font size as small font size as large okay these are the some properties you have and for text you have the color property direction letter spacing word spacing text alignment okay text align we say text indentation text indent okay text decoration okay used to underline overline on strike through the text strike through the text means this is the strike through the text okay i can strike through a text okay if i'm going to write a css and i can strike through means this is strike through the text and i can use text to transform property to capitalize text or convert text to uppercase or lowercase so here i have shown the example okay color as red means it has represented red and some text direction i have used style equal to direction colon rtl that means right side it will uh, right to left it will be printed okay so this is how the output will be and here set the space between the characters so letter spacing i can use that property 5 pixels so for each and every letter the spacing will be 5 pixels so you can see the spacing for each and every letter okay there uh, 5 pixels i have used okay and these okay this is word spacing that we will see okay here word spacing 5 pixel means this is word fixing each and distance between each and every word text indentation means here it is indented right from the margin it has not start it has start five pixel sorry one centimeter i have given so it has started one centimeter away from the uh, left margin okay one centimeter away this is the indentation so style equal to text indent one centimeter like text alignment i can give it as a right center or left respectively decoration also i have given underline uh, line through overline and strike through so this is strike through uh, you can use text shadow property like 4 pixel 4 pixel 8 pixel blue so how it will be there you can refer the uh, thing in online also only you can uh, try this to get implemented for text shadow so it will give you a shadow effect for a particular text and for images you have border height width and 
setting the opacity for the image okay so you can refer all these things okay so for link as i said you have these things link visited hover active okay and very most important thing tables for table you have like border collapse border spacing caption side empty cells and table layout so here is a complete style sheet i have given okay so style type equal to text or css okay i used so border collapse i have given collapse border co collapse i have given separate for one and two so you can see it has been collapsed here and it has here been separated okay this is separate border okay here this is collapsed border i can also give space between the border that is border space so you can always refer this particular pdf i will give the link in description okay you can refer through that so these are all about the table border okay you can also empty you have something empty set property empty cell property is nothing but which indicates whether a cell without any content should have a border displayed so this property can have one of the three values like show hide or inner it so here i have used here okay some table heading table row i know this is not a html section if you have not known html session okay if you don't know html please uh, learn that you have various youtube channels okay you will have various uh, good good uh, video uh, videos youtube videos for html so you can refer that and then come back for css so you can apply for that certainty so like for each and everything i have applied here okay uh, you can see here uh, here I have given empty right empty value so here alone I have given value for this I have not given a value at all so this is empty okay this particular table box cell is empty you can give use table layout also that means suppose to help control how a browser should render or lay out a table this property have one of the three values like fixed auto and inner it okay you don't want to remember all these uh, values and all but for, uh, remember to use all these properties in your css file so that your uh, web, web web page or website looks styled okay looks attractive so you have border color property okay you can as i said uh, in the slide no you have border bottom color border top color okay you can set as you wish okay see the border uh, color is applied red here and here it is uh, uh, green here it is uh, given uh, some blue color mm. here the border style property i have used none solid dotted dash okay dotted means it goes like this border will be like this solid means this is solid okay this is the example of solid none means there will be no border dashed means like this the border will be like this okay dashed dotted this is dots double means there will be two solid lines so you will see that here an example okay so see solid border will look like this dashed border okay double border two border i have here this is groove border okay some shadow like thing it will give okay this is a ridge border a ridge border okay inset border outset border hidden border you cannot see this border so this will be hidden the border which will be hidden is called hidden border okay so these are the border types you can set the border with height everything okay for margin you can specify the margin bottom tip, top left and right see see uh, the margin left margin top right everything is being given applied okay so uh, you will be using some list right ordered list unordered list you will be definitely using some list for your html okay for your web page so how to look that attractive so for that we have some five properties for list like it says like list style type list style position so list style type is nothing but the appearance of the marker and position style position style image list style and marker offset so here you can see the other uh, list style type property 
like disk will be the default okay filled in circle okay circle square decimal okay all these things you can refer so here which will produce this is ordered list right okay so this is given like this and um, this star the list ordered list okay unordered list are given i have used square here okay so it has been squared and i have used circle so it is circled okay and for this thing i have given decimal decimal means one two three okay lower alpha means small letters a b c lower roman means this is lower roman okay one two three upper roman means upper low, uh, roman means like this okay one two three upper roman so these are things you have to understand and the list style position property you can refer with for inside and out alone you will have like here i have you know given inside here i have given outside so check it out how this is yes you can use the list image property also so these are the various things you can use for the image okay mark or offset 2 cm 2 em i said no 2 em means so that can be applied okay so with this we will stop next we will see the okay here i am okay so this is for padding so what is padding means so padding property allows us to specify how much space should appear between the content of an element and its border so there are following five css properties you can apply for the control list okay so that includes the values of the attributes should be either a length a percentage or word inherit if the value is inherit it will have the same padding as its parent element if a padding is used a percentage is of the containing box you can also set different values for padding on each side of the box using the following properties like padding bottom padding top padding left and padding right okay so this is the short and for presenting properties you can see the padding bottom okay your tag uh, use okay padding bottom as 15 pixel and the border to be one pixel solid black so black color it should be solid black i have to apply okay one pixel size border so this is the padding bottom okay 150 pixel padding bottom yes is that been applied okay here you can see okay padding bottom five percentage so five percentage okay bottom also it has been applied so this is how it be for padding top okay similarly i given 15 pixel you can see how it has been padded for left padding okay you can see left padding you can see how it has been padded right okay left padding right padding also you can use okay for cursors okay cursor is nothing but that allows you to specify the type of the cursor that should be displaced to the user one good usage of the property is using images for submit buttons or forms okay on forms you can use image button okay image okay images for submit buttons okay in form you will be having right by default when a cursor hovers over a link okay the cursor change from a pointer to a hand okay hand is nothing but a link link tool it will be changed okay pointer to hand symbol okay link tool for a submit button on a form this does not happen therefore using the cursor property to change the cursor to hand whenever someone hovers over an image that is a submit button this provides a visual clue that they can click it the table follows the possible values for the cursor property so auto you have something called auto the shape of the cursor depends on the context area it is over okay and the crosshair either it's a cr cr crosshair or a plus sign okay and i can also give a default for it okay an arrow default will be an arrow a pointer is nothing but a pointing hand you have a hand symbol right a pointing hand mouse for the one bar okay for mouse you will be having e size is nothing but the cursor indicates the edge of a box is moved at the right east ne means northeast it is moved to up up and right okay that is the northeast position okay nw resize northwest position up and left okay edge of the box is moved to up and left so as various properties okay i okay you can take a look at various properties and you can use them okay so here i have used okay 
this is a, just a sample okay you can use this so that's it for these thing please uh, try implementing all these things so that you can make your web page or website even more attractive so it is not uh, very difficult for learning these you just have to understand the basic concept okay if i'm going to use an image then how can i use it okay how can i uh, make that uh, image to be attractive okay i can give a left padding and right padding top and bottom i can give a border for that image okay think think a creator okay it's all like a art okay if you draw a diagram in, uh, in a paper you will be uh, making the diagram to look attractive right so similarly think of a website designing a website even more attractive okay you have coded the the content to be displayed in html in uh, in the website in html page okay for applying styles to it use a css okay and think of something more creative and innovative okay you can definitely make uh, make use of all these things in your website too thank you welcome so the control visibility control properties so like the element visibility means whether how it should be displayed right like i can display it in a uh, inline format a block okay flex i can use a flex container grid container or i can use a visibility hidden and visibility as i can set the visibility as visible okay so i can say like visible colon none means the element is not displayed and takes no space and time okay that is none inline means it is treated as an inline element block means it is treated as a block element and what is the flex blocks and a grid layout okay that's what the most important thing is okay flex container and a grid container we will see it in the next slide okay now so if i say display colon flex that is the flex box and display colon grid is nothing but the grid new where layout method so that items flex to fill additional space and shrink to fit into smaller spaces useful for web app layout like it divides up the available space equally among a bunch of elements align of different sizes easily key to handling different window and display sizes so flexbox is nothing but layout one dimension row or column of elements grid is nothing but layout in two dimensions row and columns of element okay so the major difference that you have to understand between the flexbox and the grid layout is flexbox is a one dimension okay it can be a either row or column of elements but whereas grid grid layout is a two dimension okay it will have rows as well as it will have columns it will have both rows and columns elements okay so some other the issues you will be having uh, setting all these things will inheritance and multiple rule matches inheritance is nothing but some properties like say for example font size or some font family okay are inherited from parent elements okay you will have the same thing right okay if the child has the same font size or a font family as its parent element then it's nothing but a inheritance it holds some property like inheritance property and others like background and broader border and background are not inherited this is some issue okay if i have multiple rules message okay for general idea most specific rule means like span tag i will have text one okay text one the value i will have a class name test and here also i'm having text two okay now for this i'm going to apply span dot text that is this is nothing but for class name okay class dot text so for this text to only i have to apply green and for the span color colon red this only i have to apply red i should not apply red to this text two i should apply red to text one so how to add styles to html so as i said in the beginning okay i hope that uh, to make it as a even more good okay i have represented like this okay you will use a link tag okay okay r e l l r e l relate okay to this style sheet type as text or as css okay href equal to my styles dot css so this is the style sheet i am going to use i have named it name the cascading style sheet as my styles 
okay with the extension saved with extension dot css okay inside style tag i have the uh, type okay T uh, text of css i have used body font family to be this okay that's all and i have used body inside body tag i have used a div tag style padding colon two pixel okay so this is another example okay first don't look at this part okay first don't look at this part look at this part i have a body inside body i have h1 tag paragraph uh, div tag okay inside div tag also i have another one heading and paragraph tag so how it is going to be used first let me complete this body tag okay inside body only i'm having everything right so font size font family color background margin i have used for h1 i have given font size font top margin top margin bottom border bottom and i have used this is shaded where the shaded for div tag i have used the class name as shaded so dot shaded not hashtag that the hashtag you will give for id not for class name so here dot shaded for that background i have given some color in hexadecimal value so this will be the output for it so i hope uh, in this is interesting okay how it is used in real world like css uh, preprocessor example less are commonly used add variable and functions to help in maintaining large collection of style state apply scoping using the naming conventions and composition is a problem it can be really hard to figure out what rule from which style state is messing up things so i hope this was a good lecture okay so it's very easy in 2021 if you have learned if you are familiar with the html but still you don't know you are still lagging with the basics of css this is the right time for you to learn to improvise yourself in css because there are many companies expecting uh, programmers engineers like software developers to be uh, equally uh, good both in coding programming in uh, html and also applying a styles to it like css programming okay so uh, it is uh, now it's not it's not even now it's not the uh, wrong time okay it's the right time okay go through get the details okay um get the syntax of each css properties okay once you have uh, done with the html to use css to make it attractive go through the basic uh, properties you have in css just try implementing it see it in uh, your output okay see it in your website web page if it good uh, if it uh, be in uh, good or if it's likely to be bad then change it okay if it is good leave it okay only with the mistakes you can learn all the css things so that's it for video i have said i have given this um, to be as a free so hope the lecture was interesting